Are you looking for a big Android tablet, but you don't want to spend a lot of money? Well, Amazon has the answer for you. This bad boy here, this is the Fire Max 11, and they recently announced this tablet. Now, I want to give a big shout out to Amazon for sending over the Fire Max 11 and also sponsoring this video. So the question is, why should you get the Fire Max 11 tablet? Well, let's start off with the price. That's the first thing that grabs your attention. An 11 inch tablet that is $229 or bundled with the folio keyboard for $329. That's really cost effective. And you're going, okay, hey, is this any good? Well, the first thing I did was take a trip with this tablet. And I have to say, first off, my experience was quite pleasant and I really liked the way it worked. So I went out to the West Coast last week and I was able to use the tablet on the plane to watch my content and watch, uh, of course, content from the various streaming services, whether it's Amazon Prime Video, whether it was from Netflix, um, you know, or Paramount Plus, those are all available on here. And visually it looked good, especially whether there was sunlight coming through, uh, of course, the window of the plane or in darker environment, it worked out well. Now, entertainment is where this actually hands off first. Now, the display itself is quite bright and vivid. You've got a resolution of 2000 by 1200, uh, 2.4 million pixels here and 410 nits, which actually isn't bright. So in my hotel room, I was able to watch movies again quite well. Now, speaking of that watch time, how about battery life? Amazon promises about 14 hours of battery life and yes, that is true. I was able to continue from the plane to my hotel and back and still have 50% battery life left on this device. So in the battery life aspect, I think it works out pretty well. So what about some of the other hardware specs? You just told us how great it is for watching content, right? You've got an optical processor here. It's a MediaTek processor. You've got a fingerprint sensor on the right hand side where the power button is, uh, which is nice. And your volume rocker is right there. Uh, you've got two uh, top firing speakers on this device. Um, and it does have, of course, pogo pins to plug in for that for your keyboard. Speaking of the keyboard and using it, I used it on the plane, as you saw, also using the hotel room and that keyboard typing with it. This is the keyboard here. Um, it's pretty comfortable. I like the keyboard. I don't think it's, uh, you know, like the most top of the line, but it does do, do the job quite well in terms of typing. I like the key travel. It's fine. It's not an issue. I also like the fact the keyboard has shortcut buttons, like, you know, to your, uh, to a folders button. Of course, you know, there's volume, uh, there's brightness, but it's also, you know, home search keys as well, which is pretty nice. The trackpad, not so much, but it is of course usable. Plus you do have a very effective touchscreen. Now that display has a lot of real estate there. And of course you can store a lot of apps on this device uh, with 64 gigabyte or 128 gigabyte variants, but you can expand it via micro SD to one terabyte. So that definitely saves up on the cost and you can use your uh, micro SD card to store as much as possible. Interface wise, this is running, of course, Amazon own custom software here where you have for you home and library here. The for you just kind of shows your recent apps, what you were watching in content, things that are recommended for you. But the main uh, page, of course, is that home page where you have all your apps. There is no app tray. Um, and of course, you've got uh, things you can continue, whether it was applications or video content that you were watching. And this is where all that lies in. And the library is where a lot of your content is. So kind of like your apps, your games, and also your reading content. And I will tell you, this is pretty great for reading content. Again, Amazon, of course, books and stuff like that. Uh, and especially for me as a comic book fan, being able to jump into my comic books, the display is nice and vibrant. I know some of you talk about the bezels, but I think it's fine, especially with this. Uh, and it works out pretty well when I'm catching up with some of my comic books. All-Star Superman is something you guys should go and read. If you're a Superman fan, that's one of probably the best Superman comics to read. And it was able to capture that quite well, uh, even though it's, you know, it's, not, it's not paper, but I still like the fact that I could jump into watch to read my comic books here. Now, the other thing, of course, I did extensively on this device is gaming. And you're thinking, okay, this isn't necessarily built as a gaming device in terms of the processor, but of course you do have avenues to game. You've got Amazon Luna, which I was able to jump into, uh, into Batman Arkham Knight, which I haven't done in a while and play that game. And it ran really smooth. That's of course, that's because this also supports Wi-Fi 6. 
So I was able to connect to my Wi-Fi 6C connection here in my office, also in the hotel I was in, and game quite effectively. And I would say it was really smooth. And you can also use services like Xbox Game Pass that's available on here as well. So you get that experience as a gamer to just jump in. As long as you have your controller, you're good to go and play the games you want to actually play. So again, for me, that is pretty good. Now, I mentioned watching content, but I didn't play the speakers for you. So let's go ahead and listen to the speakers and see how well they sound. How one object could be responsible for creating so much beauty and so much pain. True creation requires sacrifice. Decent, loud enough, clear and crisp. I think the tablet hits a lot of the marks. Now, when I mentioned the com combination with the folio keyboard, you also get a pen and this pen is Pretty good using it on here, especially on Office 365, being able to write down notes. It's quite effective and does the job pretty well. I think when you look at the overall package of what you're getting here, you've getting a tablet, 11 inches, a folio keyboard and a pen, $329. That is really hard to beat. Now, when it comes to the camera, you've got two camera options here, a front-facing camera, eight megapixels, a red one, rare one also eight megapixels. They are decent, but you definitely need a lot of light, especially if you're gonna be saying doing a video call, a conference calling. This is not great for taking photos. I would not recommend it for that. This is more for jumping into that video call. And again, since you've got a folio keyboard, you can actually place it on, make that call, and you are good to go. Now, it may not be the highest of everything in terms of spec levels, but it does a very good job at the key things you want it to do. So whether you want to jump in and quickly answer emails or do a quick search, or you're trying to type up a document, you can do that effectively with this keyboard. Whether you want to watch content, uh, whether you're on the go, or say at in a hotel at home, you can do that too. Or whether you wanna read a book or catch up on your comic books, you can do that effectively as well and you won't break the bank. And hey, look, you may not wanna have the folio keyboard from Amazon, you wanna get a third party one, that's fine. That actually reduces your price, $229. I like it, I like the price point and I like where this fits. I think there, there are a lot of people who are looking for a tablet that really do a do a job and I think Amazon is bringing something here that will fit in that department for them. So what do you think about the Fire Max 11 from Amazon? Uh, do you have any questions or any comments? Let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.